So in this video, we're just going to be dynamically loading in markdown files into our React component. And so with a combination of import, import has a function signature, which returns a promise. It's not just a import modules from, you can use it as a function like this. And so with a combination of the import as a function and the fetch API and the markdown to JSX package, we're going to fetch one of these markdown files, just regular .md extension markdown files. We import it, we fetch the innards, basically convert it or take it as a string or a text, and then we just feed it into the markdown module. And we get this result here, which is just a, a simple markdown file rendered to the screen for your users. And so if any of this interests you at all, be sure to follow us on the, uh, the socials, that's the Twitter and the Instagram. We do daily posts just to keep up to date with what's happening on the channel, as well as what's coming down the pipeline in terms of videos. And so with all of that said, let's begin. All right, so let me start off by uh, installing the, uh, the markdown package. So let me just do an npm install dash dash save. We'll do markdown to JSX. And let me just explain the other uh, file structure so to JSX like that. We just have this uh, markdown folder just to keep things organized. We have these markdown files. We'll use this one for this video, React Pinterest clone. So it's just markdown, normal markdown with a .md extension. So it's really simple. Let me close this. We'll go to the app. And it's installed. Let's spin up the server. npm start. And we're going to need some state. So let's do an import react. And let's say use state and we need the use effect hooks from react like that. Let's import the markdown package. So import, we'll say markdown from and we'll say markdown to JSX like that. Okay, so spinning is it on there? I should say app. You say this app. There we go. All right. So we're going to simulate dynamic file names like this, const file name. We're hard coding it for now. We'll use the react underscore Pinterest clone. Normally you'd uh, have some sort of logic. I don't know, if something, then file name is equal to something. Of course, this has to be uh, a let or you could use a, a state variable. Just for this video, we're just going to have a, a, a variable and we're going to hard code the name. So that's just for the, the name of the file. We need to save this stuff somewhere. So once we load the MD file, we need this stuff saved somewhere. So let's save it, save it in a piece of state. So const, we'll call the state post. We'll say set post is equal to use state. And we'll start with an empty string. We have to start with some sort of string. Because if we do something like this, mark down like that. And we say, give me the post. And we don't have anything here. Let me close this. We go back here, control shift J. We get that stuff. Uh, let me do this. We get this error. Cannot read property replace of undefined. Markdown needs something, either a, a filled out string or an empty string, but it needs something. So let's start it at the empty string like that. Save, go back, and we free up the error. All right, so let's just load up the, the markdown. So let's say use effect. So once the component mounts, we are going to use imports function promise. So import can be used like this, import from React, import markdown, or import just the file. It also can be used like this. So import as a function that returns a promise. So we're going to import the file name. Import, and that's going to be in the directory. So let's do this. That's going to be dot slash, what are we? Markdown slash, and then the file name like that. There we go. Once it imports, we have a dot then. Let me show you what it what it actually imports. Res, and let's do a dot catch here. Error. Let's say call it to log error. All right. So once we import, it resolves in the response here, and it spits this out. Require is not a function. What pack require? Where are we at? Set post import. Require, 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 import markdown file name dot md f5. There we go. Control Shift J, this guy right here, I mean Control Plus Plus. So it imports a module, and under the default property, that's what it imports. So it's importing the, you could say the absolute path value to this, uh, to this Re Re React Pinterest clone file and add its own little marker here. So now that we have the absolute path value, we can fetch this file and just load it into the markdown module. So let's close this, go back here, and we'll add this chain or we'll take this off. 
So we'll do this. We'll say res.txt. No, we won't say that. That's the default. We do something like this. Let's go here, here, here. And I have to do a fetch. So we fetch the res.default, and that's the path to the React Pinterest clone MD file. And of course, with fetch, we have a dot then. We have the res. We're just going to parse it as a text. So res.txt. And we'll do this dot then. We'll say res. This will be the file. Let me spit this out so you guys can see it. And we'll just do a catch here. I don't think we need a catch in the... It might all well, drill down into this. So let me just do this. Let's do that. So let's see what we're fetching. So go back here. Control shift J. There we go. So all of this right here, all of this is just all of this. So we successfully have a string that's holding all of the, uh, the markdown code. Let's close this. And all we need to do is set the post to that markdown code here. So let's delete this right here. And we'll just say set post and set it to the res, close it off. Let's do a semicolon. We save, and on the screen, we get the markdown post in all of its glory. So that's going to be it. That's how you just dynamically, quote unquote, dynamically load markdown files into uh, markdown to JSX. So uh, leave a like if this helped you. It helps the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.